The Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B is a new type of military aircraft. It's called a flying wing because it doesn't have a separate tail. This design helps it hide from radar, making it hard to detect. The Okotnik B is a big drone, meaning it's flown without a pilot on board. It's designed to work with other aircraft, like the advanced Su-57 fighter jet. This combination is important for the future of air combat. It shows how Russia is developing new ways to fight in the air. The Okotnik B is a significant step forward in drone technology, and it's being watched closely by countries around the world. The Okotnik B was developed by Sukhoi, a famous Russian aircraft company. They've been making military aircraft for a long time, and they're known for building tough and capable planes. The project began as a secret, with details kept under wraps. The first time the world saw the Okotnik B was in 2019, when it made its first flight. This was a big milestone because it showed that the drone could actually fly. Since then, the Okotnik B has been undergoing lots of testing. The testing process is important for finding any problems and making sure the drone works perfectly before it's used in real operations. The Okotnik B is designed to be stealthy, meaning it's hard for enemies to see it on radar. This is because of its special shape and the materials it's made from. It's powered by a single engine, which isn't as powerful as those on some fighter jets. However, it allows the Okotnik B to fly for a long time and travel far. Inside, it's packed with advanced computers, sensors, and communication systems. These allow the drone to fly autonomously, meaning it can fly a mission on its own without constant input from human operators. For fighting, the Okotnik B has a special compartment inside its body to carry weapons. This keeps the weapons hidden from enemy radar, making it even stealthier. Since its first flight, the Okotnik B has been busy racking up airtime. These test flights help engineers understand how it performs in the air. They've been testing how well it flies, how long it can stay in the air, and how it handles different maneuvers. They've even flown it alongside the Su-57 fighter jet to see how well they can work together. One of the most important tests involved the Okotnik B receiving commands from a Su-57. This is a big deal because it shows that the drone can be controlled by a pilot in another aircraft. The tests have been going well so far, and Russia is happy with the progress they've made. The Okotnik B gives Russia a few advantages in the air. First, it keeps pilots out of harm's way. Because it's a drone, there's no pilot sitting in the cockpit. This means missions can be flown into dangerous areas without risking the lives of pilots. Second, its stealth capabilities make it harder for the enemy to find and shoot down. This is a big deal because it means the Okotnik B can sneak up on targets or gather intelligence without being detected. Its ability to work with the Su-57 also makes that fighter jet even more dangerous. The Su-57 can use the Okotnik B to scout ahead, identify targets, and even launch attacks from a safe distance. Section 6. The Hunter's Future While the Okotnik B is still being tested, Russia has big plans for it. They believe it will be an important part of their air force in the future. They are still working on its development and adding new features. It's possible that we'll see even more advanced versions of the Okotnik B in the years to come. Russia is also thinking about selling the Okotnik B to other countries. This could give them a technological advantage in the skies. However, it's important to remember that the Okotnik B is just one piece of a larger puzzle. Section 7. Potential Prey The Okotnik B is designed to be a versatile hunter, capable of taking on a variety of targets. Its primary prey would likely be enemy aircraft, including fighter jets and bombers. Its stealth capabilities and long-range missiles would make it a serious threat to even the most advanced aircraft. Ground targets such as military bases, radar installations, and command centers would also be within its sights. The Okotnik B could use precision-guided bombs or missiles to strike these targets with pinpoint accuracy. It could even be used against enemy ships, particularly if they are close to shore. Its anti-ship missiles and ability to operate over water would make it a valuable asset in any naval conflict. Section 8. A Hunter's Limitations Despite its impressive capabilities, the Okotnik B is not invincible. Like all aircraft, it has its limitations. One limitation is its dependence on a data link for communication. If this link is jammed or broken, 
the drone's effectiveness could be reduced. Another limitation is its vulnerability to sophisticated air defenses. While its stealth technology makes it harder to detect, it is not invisible. Advanced radars and surface-to-air missiles could still pose a threat. Finally, as a drone, the Okotnik B lacks the human element of a piloted aircraft. It cannot think creatively or adapt to unexpected situations as a human pilot can. Section 9. The Hunt Continues The Sukhoi S-70 Okotnik B represents a new breed of air power. Its stealthy design, advanced capabilities, and potential for autonomous operations make it a formidable force. As Russia continues to develop and test the Okotnik B, the world will be watching closely. Its impact on future conflicts remains to be seen, but one thing is certain. The hunt is far from over. The Okotnik B is a reminder that the future of air warfare is changing rapidly and those who fail to adapt risk being left behind.